So the next thing I want to do is load up another track here. I'll press Option Command N. And now I want to load a drummer track. You see it's already selected there. We did the audio tracks here. We have our soft MIDI, external MIDI. And next we're going to go with our drummer track. I'll press Create. And you notice here what happens is that we have some MIDI information already right here in our channel strip. It says SoCal right there, right? And we have a track. This is a drum track, as you can see right there. It's not a MIDI region, but actually a drum audio track. And we have a drummer. This drummer here is called Kyle. See that? And a straightforward rock beat on a natural, versatile kit, right? It says SoCal right here. Here's the kit right here. Some controls for that kit. And you see it right here also in our library, of course, right? For our library. And this is SoCal. So let me just play this back. I go to here and play it back. And we can hear back this drum kit. It's in stereo. You can see here on the input and the output here. If I play it back, I can move this here too. Make it softer. And I'll press stop. So the unique thing here within Logic Pro X now is we've got these drummers we can pull in. We can take some of these files, we can keep them, say I like the way that drummer sounds, or take a part here, or change a drummer. We'll do that later on. But what we want to do next is we want to save this now as a new template. So I can go back here, I can go to save, right? I can save as a template. So sometimes when I'm working, I like to have a certain setup. Let's say if I'm doing a um, a club thing, or I'm doing a film score, a commercial. I don't have a certain setup for, say, a hip hop commercial, or a rock commercial, or just a general like music theme commercial, a theme drama commercial thing. So we want to keep a separate template setup. And once I do, I'll call this to see my new template, right? And you'll notice here it's already saying, well, where you want to save it? It selected the Project Templates folder already, which is really great. Now I can press Save, and now this becomes my new template. But you notice here it's not a song. It says Untitled, but it is my new template. So let's close this out, actually. Once I say do that, it says Save, I'll say, of course. But I don't have to, right? I just want the template. I go back here, New from Template. And then you'll notice here, I have the basic templates that come with Logic. I have my recent song, but here under my templates, I have my new template. I can select choose to open it up, and my template will open it up the way I left it. And this is a great way for you to have your own templates for your projects.